Welcome to Buying Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be covering Avenger Campus, Deadpool, and Wolverine are showing up today. Let's do this. We are at Disneyland. It's about 8.15 in the morning, so this is as close as I could do to rope drop. Very beautiful weather today. I want to say the big reveal of Wolverine today is a spoiler, so you have been warned, but Disney, that's how they roll, I guess. But Wolverine and Deadpool, Deadpool Wolverine. I don't know if they're going to do a show. Are they going to be meet and greets? Uh, I think there's new food that has arrived at Pim's. This is just an exciting day. And I just saw the movie yesterday. It was so badass. I'm, all I'm going to say is you need to watch it. You're a Marvel fan. Deadpool Wolverine is a must watch. One of the first things I really want to check out is merch. If they got like a shirt or a hoodie, I think I'm going to get it today. The movie was so much fun. I'm going to watch it again. I think I have to wait till next week though because I got a busy week with Midsummer. But I can't tell you and can't stress it enough. Go watch Deadpool Wolverine. <laughs> I feel like it's an absolute ghost town right now for being a Friday. Maybe everybody goes to Disneyland. <laughs> they don't choose their starting park as DCA, but... Shout out to Theme Park IQ for letting us know that something was going to happen over here at the Hyperion. And here it is. Ah, uh, it looks like speakers. What? Story time with Deadpool. <laughs> what? I've been asking around when Deadpool is going to come out or be part of a show, be part of the Spider-Man stunt show, uh, be part of the dance party. People are speculating he may not be part of all that stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, I'm going to go check Mission Breakout over here if there's any merch. They do got merch at Mission Breakout Store. I forgot what it was called. And then they also got Deadpool Wolverine t-shirt. That one's being sold for 35 they also got the necklace being sold. How much is this thing? It's emerald. I don't know what the heck emerald is. Probably like 20, 25. They also got this legend toy of Wolverine. Freaking awesome. Best bubs right here. All right. Hey, it's a snapback. I'll take that. Uh, and then we got the zip up hoodie. Ah! <laughs> we got the zip up hoodie with Deadpool Wolverine. And it's the necklace that's being sold. Best friends. I love it. This one's being sold for 55 bucks. So some cool merch. I heard there's also some pins. Let's check it out. I'm not sure if they've always had this pin, but this is the first time I've seen it. They got Wolverine. They got a lot of the other Avengers and stuff like that. But today we care about Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't see a Deadpool one. It's telling me I need to test this suit. Okay, it's not. But I want to do some swinging. We're just camping out to see if Deadpool is part of this show or not. Times have now been released on the Disneyland app for story time with Deadpool. It says 140. Uh, so we're gonna check that out at the Hyperion. I'm guessing Wolverine's involved because on that sign there's like a slash, so everyone so Starting today over here at Pim Test Kitchen, we got the chimichanga for 14 bucks. It's seasoned beef, charred poblano, refried green, shredded cheese on a pool of guajillo sauce with pico de gallo. All right, just mobile ordered it. Up oh, there is the picture. That's what it looks like. I just mobile ordered it. Got it pretty quickly too. Here it is, Deadpool chimichanga. Mine came out pretty perfect. I saw a couple friends. Theirs looks nothing like mine. It looks more like this one. <laughs> 
probably still tastes good though. I don't know. I'm not a chimichanga connoisseur by any means, but hopefully it's good. Here. Chimichanga. I'm not even too familiar with a chimichanga means. Is a like a fried burrito? That's a dead poor chimichanga. I gotta do one more bite before I really give an opinion on this. The meat's delicious. It's like a fried quesadilla with some beef. I guess a fried burrito. It's delicious. This sauce really works well with the burrito. Uh, I highly recommend. This might, this might be my favorite thing I've had at Pins for lunch. I, I can't recall a better thing than this. This should just stay on the menu. This is freaking good, five fire. Kind of a closer look at what's inside. Dude, this thing's bomb. All right, we got my boy, Billy. No, let's try that. That's you ever cool. had a chimichanga? I haven't had a chimichanga. I always but thought the chimichanga was like meat. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. a burrito. It's like a burrito, but the chimichanga is like, like a bean and Is it just burrito a fried burrito? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I, don't, I don't know. Chimichanga is new to me. But let's, uh, let's show it. Look at that cheese pull. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, that's cheese. like a quesadilla. That's what I was saying. What is this, Taco Bell or what? <laughs> nah, dude. I thought it was legit. Wow. You know, like those frozen burritos you used to have in like high school, the, the, the beef and bean burritos? Yes. It's kind of like that with cheese and then you get the red sauce on it. it, it but it's really good. It's, yeah. like, it's like a premium of one of those. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, like a premium like a, version of one of those. Like a level up of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, how many a, fires? For being a theme park food, I like it. Out of five fires, I still give it like 3.5. Right, right. Just because like the flavor is not like wow. But... I'll have to be with you. Best lunch item in Pins. Yeah, that's how I looked at it. Yeah. It's the best food here. I, I, I always like <laughs> only the breakfast. Yeah. yeah. No, it was worth it. No lie, right there. I, I, I gave the compliments yeah. to the chef. Yeah. <laughs> the, so, what we just found out, there was a story to it, villain. So, yeah, the, the, the show. Yeah. yeah. You got a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, I got a picture of it. So, the three, yeah, right here. So, right here, you got Wolverine's claws, and this is blood. <laughs> And then, and then it, in under the actual like yeah you crust, can see it a little right here red tortilla to you know Signif like, signify that's, the blood that's Deadpool. and then the blood is all the the, the wahio sauce I think. so it's like Wolverine just chomping through the chimichanga yeah that's crazy <laughs> crazy the chef just told us the whole story the chef told us we found out at the freestyle machines they got a limited time Deadpool Wolverine drink look at that what. Chimichanga Chaser? <laughs> oh, it's a Coca-Cola, okay. I have no idea what that tastes like. Had a chance to try the Deadpool Wolverine soda. Really reminds me of like a cherry Coke. I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, I don't know if that's what they were aiming for, but that's what it tasted like to me. <laughs> it's really good. About an hour away, it is getting packed. What is he like, he's like in there for like a long season. We're almost there, we're almost there. From my groups from all the way down here at the front to all the way to the second batch of trees at that blue umbrella, I do need you guys to sit down when you can. Everybody got to sit down. We got to sit down, die. We got to sit down, Hi there. Oh, I know what you're all thinking. Whose ears did I have to wear to get my very own show at Disney? Uh, it took a lot of begging, and I spent a lot of time on my knees begging to get into this part. So thank you all for joining us for story time with Deadpool. Does everyone here like stories? Yeah. Shout out your favorite ones. Deadpool. 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 Deadp
Hold on. Did someone say Freddy Krueger? <laughs> I'm not doing that here. I'm going to do my own show. None of you had any good suggestions. This one right here. My story. It's full of action. Romance. And it's guaranteed to be in strong consideration for awards at the end of the calendar year. <laughs> this story is the Disney approved Beauty Pool. <laughs> and the Wolver Beast. Yeah. yeah, a little secret there for you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, you know, it just doesn't feel right when I do it by myself. I think we should all do it together. Everybody on three. One, two, three. Once upon a time. That was surprisingly together for how many of you there are. Well done. Once upon a time, I was walking along, captivated by my favorite book, the autobiography of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> when suddenly I saw my father's horse, Philippe, returning, he came a clopping. Do it with me. Make some noise. There we go. This is interactive. It's in my contract. It has to be. <laughs> but my father's horse, Philippe, was back alone. My father, no longer in the saddle. <gasps> Apparently, I was the only one surprised by that. No. But this was required in order to move the story forward. So, what I did was I looked at Philippe. I jumped into his face and I said, Philippe, where is Papa? Is he in some sort of trouble? I asked the horse this like he was some sort of television horse that could understand English and respond. But he wasn't. He's a horse. Yeah. So he just whinnied. And I'm not really brushed up on my horse, so I mounted Philippe and said, Away to Papa, quickly! And away we go! <laughs> Thank you! No, I was asking you to gallop, not applause! Oh, come on, alright. We galloped through the deep, dark forest. It was dark. It was scary. It was like going to a Waffle House at 3 a.m. in Van Nuys. <laughs> But suddenly, we came upon a clearing and out of the mist arose an enchanted mansion. Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way. For I knew what lived here. It was the horrible, the hairy. Here, let's take some pictures like prom. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. No time. No, no, this isn't for me, Wolvie. This is for the kids. Yeah. And all of the adults streaming this to their social media platforms. <laughs> Fine. I'm doing this for you, kid. Wow, that kid's lucky. <laughs> Right there, you just oh, where, the where did we leave off? I'm not wearing the glasses. Get off! Ah! That wasn't my idea. <sighs> okay. So, Belle. Beauty pool. I'm not saying beauty pool. I, I scribbled it right there, you can see it. Beauty pool does a little B&E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. <laughs> and cutlery. It's important they have a dance number at the end. Then, the real hero shows up. The beast. The Wolver Beast. Come on, follow the rules of the parody anyway, here. Anyway, Pooh Boy makes a mess of things as usual, then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, 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 I slice up some bad guys oh. while Beauty Queen stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <laughs> My jokes are not outdated. They are hilarious and modern and unending, just like Splash Mountain. 
Plus this whole thing, you're, you're not even putting any effort into it. You need to mention Mrs. Potts and her little boy Chip, Lumiere, and of course, Chef Bouche. That's a really deep cut for all you magic key pass holders out there. <laughs> it's the stove. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, with you I expected a few bars of Tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. No musical theater? It's a pity if you were a showman, you would be the greatest. I don't know what that means. You know what? This whole thing just has gone off the rails. I, I guess we'll just wrap it up. So the moral of the story, children, is don't open the door to strangers because they might be an evil enchantress who will turn you, your house, your guests, your furniture, just everything inside into something else for not letting them come in. <laughs> oh, this is a weird story, huh? Like... <laughs> I can't believe we read this to children. <laughs> All right, well, hey, hey, to finish it up, I think you should say the words. What words? You know, the way that all good Disney stories end. And don't any of you say post credit scene, all right? <laughs> that is only in the Feige Cinematic Universe, the FCU, which I could afford to cut a letter out of that somewhere. <laughs> okay, all right, well, uh, I guess he's going. Yeah, you hear that? They're glad you're leaving. <laughs> well, uh, for what it's worth, they all lived happily ever after. That is, until the direct-to-video releases, which the residuals on those are terrible. Pennies on the dollar. Did anyone see Once Upon a Deadpool? No? We're just, they're playing me off. I gotta, I gotta go. We just got done watching Storytime with Deadpool. That was so much fun. I didn't know Wolverine was gonna come out in that, but it honestly worked out perfect. Uh, Deadpool's costume and Wolverine's costume just fit so good. Whoever did that, incredible job. Fine Fires, uh, that show definitely has some good repeatability. I wanna see it again. Uh, the whole story time is just fun and very funny. <laughs> um, there's a lot of rumor that Deadpool might be part of the dance, the dance off with uh, Mission Breakout characters or uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're gonna wait out that. It's gonna be like uh, five more minutes, kind of like 30 minutes after the show we just watched at 140. So let's check out that. And I think that's gonna be it for today. It's been very hot out here, but at the same time, a lot of fun. Seeing Deadpool and Wolverine at a Disney park. Just let that sink in. How cool is that? The, the future's right. Avenger Campus needed something like this big time. Okay. Alright, moment of truth. What we traveled all the way here for. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! Well, that's what we came back for? Hey, first off, it's Star Lord. A lot of people are watching. Second. Paris, we had Deadpool dancing with the Guardians of the Galaxy dance-off. Uh, they didn't do it right now. What I did hear, I had a chance to ask around that Deadpool could be part of the last two shows, which I think is 615 and 720. So I think the way it's gonna work out, they're gonna do story time with Deadpool over here at the Hyperion Courtyard. And then to finish everything off, it'll be kind of part of the dance party. I have heard zero word about uh, Deadpool or Wolverine photo ops or anything like that or they, didn't, they haven't been walking around or nothing so I think they're just kind of staying in this area uh, I was really curious to see how Dizzy was going to pull off a family friendly you know what I mean kind of interaction with these characters because the movie is like rated R to the max big time but they pulled it off wonderfully this was a lot of fun the chimichanga was awesome the merch was awesome I haven't bought a t-shirt in a long time at Disney had to get that Deadpool Wolverine t-shirt. So cool. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Let me hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about the show and everything? Smash that like button. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo.